YouTube. I'm sorry I haven't done a video in a while. It's just that the last one I had, which is really busted up, by the way, um, didn't have a lot of storage. But now I bought a new iPhone XR, which does have a lot of storage. So I'm going to be able to do videos more often. But anyways, this video is about the MV300 violin by Mandini or Cecilio that I got off of eBay. And you may be wondering, John Mark, why do you want a violin? You already have two guitars and two ukuleles. Well, the truth is I've always had a special place in my heart for the violin. And so then I began watching YouTube um, videos on violins, trying to decide what type of violin I should get. And then I ran into this video. So yeah, overall, a, a great little violin. Just do bear in mind, folks, that it is $63. But if you want to start a violin, you really don't know what to get for $63. This is your guy. So for someone who's admired the violin a long time, that was absolutely great news. And so I found it on eBay and then bought it. Unlike what you may have seen in the video, um, I did not just get the violin, which is $63. I got... Um, a set with it, which included things like the bow, the rosin, and a book to help you get started, extra strings, and a bridge. Actually, it was two bridges. And so right here, I have the violin with me, and everything that came with it, except for the um, bow that came with it. I got a different bow, because um, the bow that came with it um, broke, because I forgot to um, loosen it after playing it. And putting it in the case. And then I um, broke a few strings on it but I um, replaced them with the same type of string so yeah other than that it comes with everything else. So first off here's a little book from Cecilio the first lesson and it just has some basic tunes and it shows a little about how to read sheet music. And then we have the violin itself. Um, this case came with the violin by the way. It's not the sturdiest, but my violin's not broken or anything, so I'm still pleased with it. This is just something that you put in it. And so, here is the actual violin itself. The um, fingering board that I have right here did not come with it. I bought that separately. And then we have the bow right here. It's um, loosened right now because I'm not playing it or using it. This is not the bow that came with it. This is a bow that I got after my other one broke. Then we have the violin strings right here. It doesn't really come with these many strings. I bought these after the ones that came with it broke, but it's the same brand right here. Actually, it comes with two sets of strings. It comes on the violin without the bridge on it. You have to set up the bridge yourself. And then it comes with um, strings that are still in the package. So um, next is next. Here is the rosin right here. And here is the extra bridge that comes with it. It comes with two bridges, um, the bridge that's on this violin, and this other bridge that I have. So I think that wraps up everything that it comes with. Now it's time for me to talk about the pros and the cons of this violin. So the main pro that I like about this violin is it's cheap for instruments. Like it's not as expensive as some other ones that I looked at. And so that's a huge plus for someone who's on a budget. And then the other good thing is that it comes with everything you need to start um, playing. Like the um, package I got came with this book and it's helped some. And then um, it comes with the strings, the bow, the violin of course, an extra bridge, and rosin, and a shoulder rest, and those are all things you need to start playing. And another pro that I like about this violin is um, I think it looks um, pretty nice, at least for me. Another um, thing that I like about the violin is it um, sounds pretty nice too. I mean, does it sound like a Stradarius violin? But <clears throat> 
it's still playable, and I still like hearing myself play, even when I sound a little scratchy. So while it's not the best sounding, I've heard far worse violins. If you don't believe me, just Google cheapest violin on Amazon, and it just sounds so nasally, and I would never buy it, especially when you can get um, an even better sounding violin for about double the money. The moral of that story is never buy the cheapest new instrument on any website. So yeah, that wraps up the pros. Now let's get to the cons. So one thing that I don't like about this violin is something I would expect from being a guitar player is the cheaper models of string instruments don't stay in as tune as well. I mean, this violin doesn't go way out of tune, but sometimes when I play it, or while well, it's lying in its case, it will go a little bit out of tune. So that's just something I thought I should note. However, it does not discourage me from playing because I'm used to tuning an instrument every day before I play it. Other than that, I don't have any problems with this violin. But in conclusion, if I did want to um, recommend a starter violin for someone, I would point them to this. So now I think I'm going to give you a little demo so I can show you how it um, plays. And then I think I'll wrap up this video. Sorry if I don't sound the best, I just wanted to show you how the violin sounds. So I think that wraps up this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.